Hello folks, thank you very much for clicking on this video and for those of you that have been before, welcome back to my channel. Uh, autumn's now well and truly upon us and I guess it's sort of time now to start shifting my attention away from my favourite summer targets and look more towards the uh, delights of the autumn skies. My name's John and I make videos on camping, walking and astronomy. If you like what you see in this video then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there but in the meantime let's crack on with this video. For me the uh, constellation of Cassiopeia is actually visible all year round um, but at this time of year it tends to sit at a sort of ideal position uh, from my back garden and missing my roof and all these sorts of things and climbing above light pollution. So um, at this time of year, I'm quite keen to delve into some of the targets around the Cassiopeia region. And one such target is the uh, open cluster Messier 52 or M52. Now, uh, Messier 52 is a worthy target uh, in its own right. But um, in the area surrounding M52, there's quite a lot of nebulosity. But in order to capture it, you need a reasonably wide field view and for this reason this I decided to take a, an image of M52 and the area around it and to get the wide field view I was going to use the Red Cat 51 scope. Now the last time I used this scope I had it mounted on a, a Star Adventurer mount which is a, a non-go to mount and I was using an unmodified DSLR camera and no light pollution filters. For this little exercise I have the Red Cat 51 fitted to the EQM, the Skywatcher EQM 35 mount which you can see behind me there. I used a modified DSLR camera to pick up more of the nebulosity and I had a Optolong L Pro light pollution filter in there um, in order to minimise the effects of light pollution and, and keep the contrast as high as I could. So um, let's go back to last night and pop outside in the garden and uh, see what happens. So I was dead chuffed when I saw my first images come off the off the camera. Um, just in a single exposure, I could see the Lobster Claw Nebula, which is a, a big area of nebulosity uh, near M52 open cluster. But I've never ever been able to capture it before, so I was really pleased with that. Uh, M52 was blindingly obvious um, in the image. So uh, yeah, having um, certified that I was actually pointing in the right place, I uh, messed about a bit with the exposure times and ISOs and stuff. I started off with um, exposure times of 90 seconds and gradually cranked that up to, to two minutes and ISO 800 and in the end two minute exposures ISO 800 was what I went for and I took I think 61 exposures before calling it a day and going to bed. So this morning then I uh, was mad keen to get on and process my images uh, from, from last night. Uh, and I did my usual thing, I stacked them in Sequitur and then I took them into Photoshop for a bit of uh, manipulation. I did put them in the stacked image into Starnet++ to get rid of the stars to enable me to uh, stretch the nebulosity out a bit better. And Starnet++ did a reasonable, if not perfect job um, you can see the uh, starless image here. I think there are just so many stars 
within this image because the Milky Way runs smack through Cassiopeia that, um, yeah, Starnet++ was having a, a bit of a hard time. But nonetheless, um, it was a lot easier than not using Starnet++. And uh, overall, I was, uh, I was pretty pleased with the image that I got at the end. You can see the Lobster Claw Nebula quite clearly looking like a lobster claw. And M52, open clusters, clearly visible. And also the Bubble Nebula, which sits kind of in between the, the, the two. Um, you can see the bright patch of nebulosity there. The bubble's not really visible here, uh, simply because the field of view is so wide that it would struggle to pick up something as small as the bubble. Um, uh, but there are other bits of nebulosity in there as well. Uh, you can see little bright patches here and there and dimmer bits of red. So uh, yeah, overall I was, uh, I was pretty pleased with the image. So I will put that up now, hope you like it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care and cheerio.